Welcome back. The Iranian-born Sam Nazarian has cornered the Hollywood nightlife scene with his hotspots, restaurants and hotels. He's also attracted the interest of Middle Eastern investors, though, not just because of his portfolio of high-profile properties, but also because he's looking to take his brand of glitz and glamour to the region. Jim Bolden gets a little face time with a young entrepreneur. It's a busy day for Sam Nazarian. The Los Angeles-based entrepreneur is quickly building an array of hotels, restaurants, and nightclubs. Throw in his film production company and his privately held SBE Entertainment is one of Hollywood's biggest hits. And it's caught the eye of Middle East money. We're looking at a lot of uh, Middle Eastern companies investing in our company um, from an investment standpoint because they feel that in five or ten years we'll be... Hmm much more profitable than we are now, I hope. <laughs> well, I hope, at least. But for the Iranian-born Nazarian, it's a two-way street. Though the Nazarian family fled Iran and settled here in 1980, when Sam was just a child, he says his roots in the region makes him uniquely qualified to bottle a little bit of this magic and import it into the Middle East. Nazarian is convinced his brand of Hollywood hotels, nightclubs, and restaurants, like the Katsua chain and the trendy Foxtail, can help bring some soul to all those cities being built in the desert. When are we looking to pour the front? If you stay in one of Nazarian's luxury SLS hotels, like this one undergoing a massive transformation in the center of Hollywood, you get more than just a room. You get into one of our jet vans, which are made by Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. it's like being inside of a G5, and you go around the whole city in all of our nightclubs and restaurants. So your room key becomes your pass to all of Los Angeles. This piece of it will be 3D LED, mm -hmm. and this will be static. That'll be about 800 square feet right now, and that'll be about 1,500 square feet of, of static. SBE and partners bought the famed Sahara Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas last year. He's also expanding to the east coast of the U.S., then Europe, and then the Middle East. So an SLS hotel like this, we will see relatively soon, you think, somewhere in the Middle East. Within the next four to five years, you'll see an SLS either built or announced somewhere in the Middle East, probably in Dubai. What the hell was that? No, I'm you asking me. Nazarian has become a bit of Hollywood himself. He has appeared in MTV's The Hills, which follows the exploits of one of his employees. Nazarian says all this is a turn-on to his Middle East investors, from the Middle East he remembers. It's amazing how sexy and lavish <laughs> and over-the-top it is. And the perception we have in, in the West is that it's the burqas and, it, you know, mm. the, and it's completely not the case. Mm. And, you know, I have you know, been exposed to a lot of uh, Middle Eastern people who are not that way. <laughs> And they, they like to, and they're mm. the most jovial and, and, and they enjoy life more than any other culture that I've seen. For the first time ever, Nazarian let the media into his most exclusive property, the Hyde Lounge. Fewer than 100 people get in each night. It usually has as many paparazzi out front to snap Britney Spears or Paris Hilton. So many things happened in this place and around this place and outside this place. Though he would only let us in before it opened at 10 p.m. And Hyde is starting to lose some of its A-list appeal and will undergo a makeover. But the name will stay because Nazarian wants to build Hydes around the world. Hopefully once they walk into Hyde in New York, they say, wow, this place is gorgeous and the service is great and the people are friendly and it's a place I want to come back, not just because Paris Hilton or, or Britney Spears used to hang out there. Nazarian does not like to be called a nightclub owner, but there is a reason places like Hyde or his other clubs, Area and The Abbey, are important to him. Nazarian says he and his fellow immigrants were excluded from the Hollywood hotspots in the 1990s, so he made himself two promises. Not only am I going to get in, but at the same time I'm going to build things that are and create things and open things that are going to be better than those things I didn't get in. And when his places became the gold standard... There was a smile every once in a while. Because <laughs> for many years they wouldn't let us through the door. Now, in Los Angeles, and soon Las Vegas, Miami, and one day in the Middle East, Sam Nazarian will decide who gets through the door. For Marketplace Middle East, I'm Jim Bolden in Hollywood. Well, next week on Marketplace Middle East, Israel's cosmetics queen. I had to fight to say, no, I'm not only beautiful, I'm also smart. 
former fashion model Panina Rosenblum has turned her love of all things beautiful into a thriving corporation. Atika Schubert spends the day with the Israeli icon to unlock her secrets of success. Be sure to tune in for that. Thank you for joining us on CNN Marketplace Middle East. I'm Max Foster. See you back here next week.